Hi everyone, happy Friday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay. All right, I think we're pulling on some of the same energy as yesterday. Um, we do have messages too, but let's go over the cards first. Okay, we've got the Nine of Wands comes in as our energy. Okay, we've got the Knight of Cups crossed by the Lover's card. Okay, that's an Arcana card. It's it, it can't be changed in here, okay? It's the only card that can't be changed in here. Uh, and the King of Wands, okay? Now, I think what's happening is I think that there is a uh, natural completion of something, be that an ending, be it going in a new direction, be it something, okay? But I don't think that uh, whatever it is, I don't think it's going to be something that takes you off guard. I think it's something that you're well aware of, okay? So I just want to say this, though. Keep your emotions in check today, okay? It's another day. Again, I really think that that's why this was our key lesson, um, so that we're not, you know, whipped all over the place and, and taken, you know, for rides unnecessarily, okay? Um also, I want to say today, you have a message to kind of observe your emotions, okay? What are your trigger points? When do you just want to react instead of uh, thinking? What is, where is that coming from, okay? Because we're not our emotions, but they're triggers from usually childhood. It's, a, it's, it's learned behavior. It's how we respond to things. Certain things trigger certain things, right? Um... So try to keep a check or notice on that. So maybe just really uh, whatever it is that you're going to be engaged in here, um, try to really think first why it is that you feel like you do. Okay, I guess that's we can break it down into that. I don't want today's to be another long video. I'm sorry. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Okay. Um, again, yeah, just try to see where, where those emotions are really coming from and why. And are they serving you or are they, they way outlived? Okay. Are they somebody else's, right? Okay. Also, there's a message in here to, and you probably won't see this right off the bat, but try to find, uh, I guess really give thanks and cherish the lessons and the blessings in whatever situation this is as a whole too on, on an everyday basis just really just cherish the things that uh that the universe sends to us okay everything is rigged in our favor some things just don't feel so good at the moment okay but they're they're still for our, our greater good so i guess it's just you know really just acceptance on that front okay now the nine of wands in here guys i think today this is really uh in reference to um, either a hardship or a challenge or it, it's whatever it is, it's, it's, you could insert the hanged man here too, because I feel a huge pause, right? Like a huge pause button needs to be hit today. Okay. Because there's challenges here somewhere. And I'm not sure if, you know, it's a place where you need to start over course. Correct. Do we go in a different direction? Okay. This can apply in many, many different areas. Okay. I think that some things are coming to an ending. I think some things for some of you are going in a different direction. I think some things are going to a different phase of something. Okay, this can reply, I mean, apply to anything in your specific life, but I don't think it's anything, again, that's going to be a surprise, okay? You're really being asked today to keep your emotions in check. Don't be pulled all over the place and don't be led. Okay, you lead yourself today. Okay, follow your instincts. And that's the real, that's where I really felt like the push, right? The really, I, I felt a lot of pressure around um, the need to follow your instincts. I have a feeling that someone may try to talk you out of something. Okay, and this is not going to apply to everyone, but, but someone I think may be uh, upsetting the apple cart. Okay, and I don't think that I think the other person or the other equation in this, or maybe it's the internal battle within yourself, is, is not going to like this and may try to, uh, you know, play the, the, the guilt card or, or 
whatever, okay? Because look what we come in with. We've got the Knight of Cups, okay? This is, we're missing grounding in here. We're missing coins, okay? The Knight of Cups is, there's a lot of fire though too, all right? The Nine of Wands is fire. The Knight of Cups is air and water. The Lover's card is air, Gemini, right? And the King of Wands is fire, fire. So there's a lot of fire in here today. Okay, sometimes we just need that though to help push us through something, but let's keep it in check so we don't burn the village down, okay? Because again, don't let your emotions get out of control. There are no, there's no grounding in here, none whatsoever, okay? So we're really going to have to pull on all of our resources, pull on our past uh, experiences, all right, and, and just not be whipped all over like, like a buoy, okay? So whatever you're presented with, the Nine of Wands usually is a card of stamina, and it is, okay? But, but I think today what I'm feeling from this is really that it's just... It's a situation that's that's been presenting a challenge, and it, it's at a point where it needs to be addressed. It needs to go in some direction here, okay? And that's going to apply differently to all of you, all right? Now, the Knight of Cups here, if this is a person or an archetype, it can apply, again, any different way. But this is not a knight, okay? This is someone who is driven by their emotions, okay? That's They're, they're the ones that are on the you know, never-ending quest uh, to find, you know, they're the very poetic, you know, looking for love in all the wrong places. They, they're, they're on that constant quest, okay? Um, I think, too, it's, it's trying to find identity in relationships, too, with other people, okay? And, and that's where, you know, the lover's card come in, comes in here, too, and that's how this Knight of Cups shows up. Okay, the lover's card is about um, bridging gaps, uh, balancing things out. Um, again, it's a card of emotional maturity, long-term wise choices for yourself. Do you, do you be, you know, led astray for instant gratification? And again, guys, that can be in anything, okay? Or it can be long-term. Do I stay in this crappy job just because I, I don't want to put the effort into leaving right now? Or do I just make long-term wise choices for myself and realize that the longer that I stay here, the longer I'm off of my path? That was just an example. Okay, I want to just show you that because when we say sometimes, you know, uh, uh, this is not always a card of infidelity. And sometimes that's how this card comes across, vice and virtue, right? Do I make a, uh, you know, and, and sometimes it is, but but today I really think it's it's not. It's about making a choice that you know needs to be made or do we let this ride again and end up still in the same spot, okay? I think it comes to something like that, okay? Um, because these cards are very, very similar. Um, the key with these two, though, is to not let your emotions guide this because the Knight of Cups can be very emotional, uh, egocentric when he's in the you know, pushed against a wall, doesn't feel like he's got free reign here, okay? Again, this can just be an archetype too, but but we all have this in, in us, okay? Um, we try to buck the system when we don't like what we're hearing or what we're up against. Sometimes that just, it can happen. Again, if that's what happens, try to figure out why you do that, okay? Um, or whatever it is. Um... Uh, this can also, again, guys, lead to uh, further commitments. Again, maybe relationships need to go in a different direction. Example, you've been dating someone for seven years. At what point do you take it to a different place or do you let it go? You know, again, it can it can apply in many different ways. Okay, but, but that is it too. Do not, you know, the, the with this card too, the, the Knight of Coins, there's moodiness in that card and there's jealousy. Okay, so again... If this is a relationship that's not uh, been on the tracks for a bit, it's kind of, you know, been going here and there and everywhere, it's a time to hit the pause button and, and, and really get a direction here, okay? Um, and the lover's card, too, it can be just a, a merging of the two parts of yourself, okay? It can also be that. Um 
Okay. Now, we've got the King of Wands on the outbound. Okay. This is uh, an archetype or a person who is open to new ideas. They're very receptive to change. Okay. They are ready and willing to face whatever comes at them. They walk their talk. Okay. They're not going to sidestep something or stay in something longer than they need to. Okay. This is someone who is very, very self-disciplined. Okay. Devoted. Fearless. Okay. They are uh, educated too. Okay. So there's intellect here. So maybe some grounding will come in this area of this, whatever this is to you. Okay. Um, it is a mature person, but keep in mind it's fire, fire. So you've got emotions and fire. And in the middle here is a decision that you're trying to make or, or find a middle ground for. Okay. But whatever it is, the, your messages, I've got really go with those. Okay. That's about, um, the completion of something, a phase of something, okay? And this Nine of Wands really to me today is uh, about hardship and change, a pause in a battle, challenges, starting over, going in a new direction. It's, again though, this is where I think our message comes into it as a reminder to um, see the beauty in your life. Okay, you didn't get to a Nine in whatever this is, no matter what direction you choose to go, if you didn't put the work in, okay? But some things just uh, are lessons and blessings, right? They're meant to go in a different direction at a certain time. That's the natural order of things, okay? So so that's what this is really about, okay? Um, again, above all else today, uh, you know, I reference this sometimes too, it, against everything you've done. It's just whatever this is, is just not going according to plan. So I'm going to reference that little part in Under the Tuscan Sun when Francesca and Catherine are having a conversation and, and Francesca is like, I'm worried about this, 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 this. And Catherine tells her, just stop, stop, go work on your house and forget about it. And it all comes together. The answers come the resolve comes. And if you remember yesterday's throw, it was that you will get a vision or you will get a revelation. So either way, again, trust that because that is your instinct too. Okay. Don't discount it for something. Oh, this is my mind. Just your emotions are in check. You know to do that. So you're not going to run like a lunatic right? You're going to keep your emotions in check. You're going to handle things appropriately, but you're also going to realize that, you know what, this is my intuition. It's a non-negotiable and it's been haunting me and telling me this and telling me this for a while. Now is when um, I need to take action on it, okay? Because nines are the culminations, right? It's the winding down. It's the, you know, the start and end of something. That's what the 10 is. It's the start and the end of something. There's really no break there, right? So um, again, we had um, the Knight of Cups yesterday, too, okay? So he showed up yesterday as our energy. Today he's showing up as, you know, he's in it for the game here. This is this is not game as in, you know, child's play. He's, he's in, in, in the read. It's, he's no longer just the energy. He's, the, he's part of the equation here, okay? So I hope that that helped you in some way. Again, guys, this is going to apply to everyone in different situations. Some uh, turn the corner in a good way, some turn the corner in a release way, but either way it's the natural order of things and um, it needs to be okay. But I don't think this is going to take anyone as a shock. I think this is again, it's a nine card energy showing up here. So it's it's gone the gamut. Okay, we're, we're at the, the 11th hour here. Something needs to to, to take place or break or go in a different direction, okay? So I hope that I helped you in some way. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. Um, I'll be more than happy to look at anything for you, okay? Thank you so much. But again, guys, please trust your instincts today. Keep your emotions in check. If something triggers something, don't fly off the handle. Think, where is that coming from? Where was the first time I felt this, okay? It's more about the lesson for yourself in here than anything that you're coming up against, all right? Because everything in this this journey here is to show you something. So put yourself on the forefront and then deal with whatever this is. But if you're getting triggered and you feel your ears getting hot, stop for a moment and, and, and ask yourself, where is this coming from, okay? All right, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.